Manchester Predators, Abby Jack taking on Ryan White. Jack makes his way down to the shocking arcade. Extremely experienced individual, for up and down the country, number of shows, beating some good people. Tough run of late for Abby. Be good to see him bounce back of a good performance here. Representing Manchester Predators. Good gym, can turn out some good fighters over the years. And as I said, it'd be good to see Abby putting a good performance here. I watched him fight in the North East not too long ago. I judged one of his bouts up there. Um, and, you know, on his day, he's got some good tools. He's got good wrestling, good boxing. Taking on Ryan White here, who's going to have a lot of people down to watch him. So, again, into the lion's den for Abby Jack. to the cage. Has to be mentioned, missing weight by a huge amount, coming in at 218 pounds. I'm not sure if there's conversations beforehand with Abby or how that exactly went down, but, you know, that's a sizable weight advantage. And he's got heavy hands, Ryan. We've seen him at Shock and All recently. couple of shock and awes back, he got on top of Brad Conway, finished him a ground and pound, but unfortunately a couple of those shots straight to the back of the head, so he was later disqualified, but he's been around the scene, he's got some good wins, got heavy hands. Yo, Rafi and Charles, the action is the Rich Mitchell. Rich Mitchell in charge of this light heavyweight bout, but, you know, we may as well call it open weight at this point, Ryan Waite. Ryan White, excuse me, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> Missing weight by, by a market amount. But it's Ryan White in the white Venom shorts, Avi Jack in the Black Manto shorts. White looks to pour it on early, looks for the double leg takedown. Looking for it. An in interesting element to this fight. Avi Jack told me this is his last MMA fight. Well, as I mentioned in the run out, it'd be good to see good performance from Avi because, um, yeah, he. He hasn't been as good as late as he has been earlier on in his career. Obviously, everybody tails off in terms of performance. But it'd be good to see him have a good show. And if, as you say, Colin, this is his, his last pro bout. Been about the UK scene. A lot of friends in the scene, well respected. Yeah. Ryan White picks his man up here. What strength. Yeah, that, that is strength. He wanted to, uh, to turn the other direction, really. But um, he's doing a good job, Ryan. He, he starts with the strike and then goes low for the hips, and that's a really nice setup, uh, especially against the cage. That's what that's what you want to be doing. Yeah, Ryan White seems to, uh, seems like he's been around forever. You know, yeah. he's obviously had a bit of a hiatus from the game and, and come back, and it's good to see him back. Um, you know, it, I mean, he was fighting in the in, in different generations of MMA almost. Uh, you know, I, th I think he's probably fighting before Shock and All was even around, I'd, I'd guess. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Um, you know, obviously head coach down at Pro Systems MMA, and we've seen some good wins for those those guys tonight. 
Or is that a groin shot? Ryan seems okay. <laughs> yeah, Ryan's happy for him to carry on. Avi apologised. Nice little dig into the body again from Avi Jack. And yeah, Jack, like White really, has, has a mixed record, but has some good wins and uh, been in some big domestic fights. Yeah, Avi Jack looking really calm, really composed. Yeah, similar. He was in a similar position when I, I judged his fight recently in the Northeast at Combat Challenge, and uh, he got into this position, and yeah, extremely relaxed and tough to take down. But I guess the key for him in that fight, which he didn't manage to do, and which you know he needs to do here, really, is he needs to reverse his position, or in this case, wait for the referee to separate it. Good refereeing from Rich Mitchell, I think. Yeah, good timing. Nice jab from Jack, straight down the middle. Solid. One, two there. Nice kick from Ryan White in reply. Ryan White looking to rip the legs. That's a tall person to take down. Yeah, as you mentioned, Jack, you know, very relaxed in this position. He has got good takedown defense, but as I mentioned earlier, Colin, you, you can't spend too long here, can you? you? If you've got double underhooks like this, you need to try and change the position. I mean, Abby's just smiling now to all the side and, and nodding at people, but you're not winning this white fight in this position, are you? No, no, you're not. Um, he needs to do a little bit more. Um, Ryan White doing a good job of the old foot stomps. Yeah. Marco Hua style. Um, I, you know, he looked like he was aiming for the, for the little toe, which is, is nasty. It's the right thing to do, but it's nasty. Yeah, White doing the good thing and, and keeping busy. Abby Jack just look at the referee. But, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's not a valid defence, is it? I mean, you, you can't look to the referee and just expect him to split it. You, you've got to try and do something about it yourself. Oh, yeah, no, he's losing the fight by, do, by doing this, definitely. But Oh, nice elbow. Oh, nice right hand. Nice jab, low kick from Abby Jack. His, his hands look really crisp tonight. Ryan White really looking swollen on the left side. Yeah, he's landed some good shots, Jack. We're back in this familiar position with Avi Jack being pressed up against the cage. The, th the thing is, with Jack, he, he does good work when they're separated, you know, yep. when they're striking. So he's he's right to want that, you know, to fight from a standing position. Um, sorry, separated position. Um, but he has to do more here. Okay. A little signal to the camera. I mean, he's enjoying himself in there, Avi. It has to be said he's enjoying himself. Um... Yeah, listen, this is his last fight, you know, he should be having fun. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Referee Rich Mitchell saying that's a second warning to advance. I think if the similar things start happening in the second round, it'll probably want more work from Ryan White, but I mean, right to his credit, is, is keeping busy, as you say, with his stomps and the, and the knees inside. Um, but he, he's not really advanced in terms of looking for the takedown, has he, Colin? No, no. I mean, the thing is, Ryan White is pushing the action and he's doing more work. Mm -hmm. um, but he isn't having any success with the takedowns. So... You know, it's a tough one. It's a really difficult one. Ryan White, Ryan White is doing more, um, but it, you know, there's no, there's no real big dramatic um, effects that he's having. So I think it, you know this is going to start again from a striking perspective, and uh, we're going to see if if there's going to be more now from from Abby Jack. Yeah, in the times that he has been separated, Abby Jack has shown some good work. You know, his hands have looked really crisp. Yeah, he, he, Abby Jack's having fun out there. He's all smiles, enjoying himself. From Ryan White's point of view, though, he knows a, a range that he can win this fight, and that is here, isn't it? It's getting him close up against the cage and, and getting busy. Yeah, he's trying for the single. And now we're back in this familiar position. Yeah, Ryan White pressing the action up against the cage.
Looking for the guillotine, maybe, Jack, here. Trying to feed that arm in, Colin. Yeah, just, just, he's tall enough. He just puts his arm over, captures the head. Let's see if he's going to do anything with it, though. I think maybe content to hold it and look for a referee split here. Nice knee to the body from Jack. Again, looking for the head. I can't see if he's really got anything there. I don't think he has. Looking to talk that now, Jack. Yeah, he's got the, he's got the right he side. He's putting of... some talk on. Sorry, Colin. Yeah, it looks more like a crank. More of a crank at this point. That is tight. Is that under the chin? Oh, it is. Yeah, it is, yeah. Ryan White is signaling to the referee. He just gave the referee a look there as if to say, I'm OK, but... Oh, yeah, he's just got his chin in there. Just saw yeah. his chin sink in there. Did look like a moment of danger there. And Ryan goes back to work. He, you know, one thing, Ryan is, is doing what he can to keep busy. Nice, and he gets it. Persistence. Persis persistence is the key, and he, he got the takedown he wanted. Abby Jack, excellent work to work back up to his feet, though. And again, in this familiar position of Ryan White, pressing on Avi Jack. Avi again going under for the guillotine. I think Rich Mitchell might split them up now, Colin. Yeah, I'd really like to see Avi Jack turn, try, at least try and turn Ryan, um, change the position. He's not really edging out his hips left or right uh, at all. So, you know, I think his tactic is maybe right, maybe his tactic is just to get the ref to break him up every time. Um, it's not that he's not doing well when they've broken up, but it, but it, you know he's not he's not doing enough for me. No, I mean if, if your takedown defence is that good that you, you've you've been narrowed down to one takedown and this whole time, then you've got to be able to reverse the position at some point or at least have a, a, an attempt, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I think Ryan's going to look for a single. Uh, he should look for a single and try and rip it away. Maybe attack the single and then go for a knee tap on the other leg. I mean, so far, Abby Jack's been really confident and, and his defence has been great here. One takedown, which he got up from pretty much straight away. Yeah, I mean, he's got sound fundamentals. I mean, he's had a a very respectable pro career. Um, you know, he knows what he's doing in there. But maybe what's missing here is, dare I say that, that real will to, to change the course of something and win, but I say that, he's looking for this choke again. G going high elbow now, Colin. Mm, yeah, it does look, it does look uh, pretty snug in there. Maybe going chest over, maybe a sort of ten finger. It's, it's very difficult to see. Yeah, from the look of the arm, it's like a ten finger choke. But I mean, Ryan hasn't got much of a neck, so yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, it's going to be difficult. I think the referee uh, saying yes to advance. It's his last chance. What does that mean? What do you think that means, David? He's going to start taking points off, or what do you think? I, th I think it's just going to be a quicker on the splits. I mean, Rich Mitchell is a very experienced referee. Uh, he works with KSW and, you know, some big shows. So I, I think he knows when something's not going to happen, if that makes sense. He's got, he's got that sense. Yeah. Um, and let's face it, it, it doesn't take Einstein to work that out in this fight thus far, does it? it and it's been too often we've been back in that position. but. You can't blame Ryan White because Ryan White is, is you know, winning a lot of those positions by ticking over. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, Ryan is working. He's, his work rate is really good.
third and final underway. That's what you want to see from Abby Jack. Yeah. Pushing away here. Shoots in on a double on his own. Oh. Mixing it up. Beautiful. Beautiful double leg as well. It's almost like he was just waiting for this round so he could do it. I mean, it, that's, that's kind of what's been so frustrating about Abby. Oh. And now he's into mount. Straight in there for a mount. Ryan, using Ryan White's going to use the case. Well. Does well. Beautiful work from Ryan White. Great work from Ryan White there to reverse that. Showed... You know, show good work for a guy his size to just <laughs> reverse out of that position, didn't he? Oh, yeah, but Abby Jack just having a conversation with the referee there, you know. Ice, ice cold. He did push away from this position right at the start of the round, so I'd like to see him do it again, but I'd be surprised if Rich Mitchell let this one continue in this position as long as uh, as happened in previous rounds. But good to see Abby mixing it up and Great work from Ryan to reverse that position because, you know, he was mounted for a second there, but he used the cage well. Avi looking to hit this switch now. Yeah, he's really looking for it. Ryan trying to take away the, the uh, far leg. He should maybe look to the knee position. Yeah, that's good. He's putting his weight on him. But Avi Jack back up again. Yeah, extremely tough individual to take down and even tougher to keep down looking for that Kimura grip here is Avi Jack Ryan White does well gets that single leg but it's keeping Avi Jack down that's been his problem looks for the high crotch Abby Jack, real, real nice defensive wrestling. Yeah, he needs to work more. You know, time's running out. See what um, the referee's going to make of this. Crowd getting behind Ryan by the sounds of it. Yeah, always great support for Ryan White here. Obviously, reasonably local guy. Let's see, this could possibly be the, the, the last exchange of this round from a striking perspective. Yeah, that's too easy for Ryan White to close the distance and, and let that happen. Yeah. Ryan picks the leg. Real good, real good output by Ryan in this fight. You know, he, ha he hasn't stopped. His conditioning is, is definitely there. Yeah, he's stayed very busy, hasn't he? To his credit, Ryan White. I mean, why change when that's been successful for you? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I and mean, he's, he's really trying for those takedowns. It's just the defense. Uh, it, it, you know, the defense is really good from Abby Jack. He's doing everything he should be doing. And if he does hit the deck, it's only for a split second he's back on his feet again. Referee telling the fighters to advance again. Advance <laughs> 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 looking for the rest of the switch, and he gets it, and he gets it. Good work by Jack. Now let's see what he can do. He hasn't got long. Ten second clack, it goes. Ten 
Havijak's going to finish the round in top position. <laughs> but I should imagine that's not going to be enough. No, not enough. Um... It's, uh, uh, you know, I always... I hate to talk out a turn about fighters, especially as, you know, I'm... <laughs> I'm not in there as a as a professional fighter myself, but it, that, that's just a frustrating performance from me because uh, Avi's got so many skills in his locker. You know, his takedown defense is so good, and when we saw his striking, it was so good. And I'm only saying this because when I judged him in the Northeast, I saw such a similar performance. Um, and maybe if his if his heart's not in it like it was in his younger days, maybe it is a good time for, for Avi to get out because yeah, he's not taking any damage and he's very competitive. But, uh, you know, that's not the same average out that I've seen a, a, a couple of years ago. Um, you know. Credit to Ryan White. Never stopped working. And uh, if that is the last time we see average Jack, thanks for all the fights down the years experienced campaigner always put it on the line and good level pro and hope to see him stay in the scene if that's coaching or moving on be good to see him stay around you come mate